Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to talk about the Gladius in 2.5 because the ship did get a nice little upgrade, bringing it closer to what we fell in love with for those of us that do have Gladiuses to fly around. Now previously the Gladius was a highly nimble ship, and you could really sort of breakdance with it, almost as well as you could in something like an M50. The weaponry was never really outstanding on the ship, uh, you know, even though the Scorpion up front's not too bad, um, but you could be effective based on the agility and speed. Now, more recently, the Gladius saw some major issues, uh, mostly as a result of changing the flight model around, and suddenly the ship became totally outclassed in combat in just about every single way. Ships like M50s were too agile, it wasn't fast enough to effectively be able to make good approaches on other quick ships, and even some of the just normal speed ships. Uh, and the biggest problem with the flight was the drift. Um, it was like it was a pickup truck with nothing in the back that was trying to race on an icy surface. It ended up just drifting around like crazy and it was almost unpredictable. There's also things with, uh, or issues with the turn rate, for example, like when you're fighting a, a Hornet, which is typically considered to be a slower and less agile target, um, they're still able to out or maneuver in a similar way that you were able to do in the Gladius, meaning that you couldn't necessarily keep yourself in a advantageous position over a, what's supposed to have been a less agile ship. But I'm happy to report that now that we're in 2.5 PTU, the ship is performing much, much better. It's responding better to adjustments in vectors, its acceleration feels more well balanced, and it just flies much more predictably and more in line with what you would expect out of a ship in that category. Now as far as this ship overall, the Gladius still needs a little bit of work, but I do feel that it's at least fairly competitive at the moment. The shields still come off really quickly, um, weaponry isn't too hard to lose after that ends up happening because it's an exposed target, and the size of the weapon makes me wonder about how its overall value compares to other ships. Now everything is going to be in flux, but it is natural to compare ships to one another because that's how we can sort of assess value. And I think that ones that we most often compare to nowadays when we're talking about the Gladius are going to be the Sabre, which is in-game, and potentially the Buccaneer, which is now in concept. Now right now, the Sabre is basically a direct upgrade, but at its price point, that's not necessarily a huge problem. Now, even outside of that price point, it's a newer ship in the lore, and it's idea, um, you know, and it ideally has a kind of a slightly different purpose. Now, when they talked about the Buccaneer, they said that the Gladius was really more of a missile boat, anyways. And the Gladius does have a nice missile loadout, but you're going to be limited based on how many you can end up carrying and firing. Um, and then once we get into persistence, we start talking about the cost associated with using them and their effectiveness given whatever build we're currently in. I would personally almost always rather carry weapons over missiles, but I guess that's going to depend a little bit but based on player preference as well. The Gladius is now more agile than the Sabre, but the speed is pretty similar overall, and the Sabre is far more durable, and the weapons aren't even worth comparing right now because they're just so much better on the Sabre. Now, I'm never going to be one that says the Gladius should perform up to the Sabre's level, but I personally still think that there's a little bit too much discrepancy between what's really more of a missile-focused light fighter and a stealth-focused light fighter. Um, you know, one's more advanced than the other, but they both still technically kind of fall within the same realm. Now, I think a relatively easy fix that would be, or I guess what would be a relatively easy fix would be to increase the shielding on the Gladius a little bit, especially considering it's still a combat ship after all. And then that's going to be uh, making the ship overall more effective because you're going to be combining that with the maneuverability and speed to make really a more well-balanced fighter. The weapons are fine, or the durability is fine, but I personally think that they need to pick one or the other, not have both be areas of concern on the ship. At the end of the day, though, the progress is important, and those of you that haven't seen it or taken the old girl out for a while, um, you probably want to give it another shot, because it's a hell of an improvement over what we've had in previous builds. And an important one, because I think it's something that we're going to be seeing a lot of, it's going to have a high presence in the Squadron 42 campaign. So if you've been flying the ship, I'd love to know what your thoughts are as we move from 2.4 into 2.5. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll keep you updated on other changes with, the, with these ships. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and take care.